Welcome back. Touch. You're watching the Dilly LT2K YouTube channel. Shout out to the Dilly gang. Another sound review. We're going to review more of this wonderful sound mod. So we are looking at the percussion instance that is coming with you live on your NPC Live X1, Live 2, Live 2 Retro. It's in that Live 2 Retro beautiful machine. Rim. 909 rim. Stick eight. Now that doesn't sound like a 808 stick. I don't remember that noise being in there. So if I want to give it that noise, so that sounds like an 808 to me. That noise, uh, I guess you know. I I know it's a it's a it's a great area. That's supposed to be a cowbell. Clave from the 808, yeah. Conga from the 808 sounds familiar. Conga. I like that. So it looks like different modules have different options. Tambourine. Shaker. And then you have Darbuka. Uh, and now the synthesis is happening in real time. So it's, I think it's FM based. But I think that enables you to have. I really am interested to, to know what's going on underneath the hood. It sounds like we got preset perimeters that we can get to. But the way it, it looks, sounds like and looks like there's a lot of different perimeters that is going on under the hood that we can't reach. Oh, timpani. I didn't even know. Timpani. Okay. They really went after the tabla, okay. FM synth. That's interesting. Interesting. It's there if you need it. Oh, so there's a lot of percussion there. So, you know, it's it's cool. It's it's good good stuff. So, let's look at some of the sap the perimeters there. So, in tone. That's cool. With some tweaking, you probably have some fun with this. So I don't see myself personally using a lot of this, but I I think I think if you want to experiment with new sounds, I think it's one of those things where you just kind of have to take time to really sit down with this one, because you have to really figure out where you want to put this one. So I mean, I can add a little bit of a like a maybe a reverb to this, and then automate that and just play with that. Oh, you hear that pre-delay on that reverb? Let's turn that up. Yeah, that sounds cool. You can really play with that anymore. And and it's it's a little tricky because you have to really know where to put that sound in. So as you can see, it's a very eclectic module right there. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. I just want to give a little sound on that one. I couldn't really dive into that one because sonically it's 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 percussion. So it's it, unless you want to make a percussion rich sound or sequence, 
you probably won't use it that much, but it's good that it's there. It's good to know those options are there. And you never know when the option can come and can come handy. So I don't want to uh, express myself in a way that could easily write off that perimeter because it is a good perimeter. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to talk about more like this. If you like this type of content and see the other tutorials I have on this channel, so like, comment, subscribe. You'll see more. See you in the next video.